Good morning you lovely lot, welcome back to the channel. I'm Dave Keith. this is a Vernus Biker Lifestyle. What this channel is all about is reselling to fund your lifestyle. Why a Vernus Biker Lifestyle you might be asking yourselves. Well, uh, I, I'm a biker at the end of the day and that's uh, my lifestyle. Re reselling is funding that uh, hobby and way of life. So what I'm aiming to do is uh, show you guys how you can uh, raise some extra money for yourselves by reselling to either fund your lifestyle, pay your bills, save up some money to invest, whatever you choose to do. Now for those of you that are new to the channel, what I mean by reselling is I buy stock from very different uh, places, uh, charity shops, auctions, car boot sales, Facebook marketplace and the like various different sources and sell them online to make a profit predominantly on eBay I also sell on Amazon uh, but this channel is mostly about the eBay side of life now what I thought I'd do with today's video is, is show you the sales that have been made over the last day just over a day uh, we're on Friday morning now just after nine o'clock and these uh, sales have been made on my eBay store since midday ish on Wednesday so the last sort of like day and a half but before we crack on I've got a bit of a special announcement today I don't often do this in fact I think this is the first time I've done it uh, I've got a bit of a wholesale offer for you if you stay with me till the end of this video I will announce the wholesale offering it's a one-time deal on this occasion just a one line and it's something a little bit tasty I think you'll be tempted with. So stick around till the end of the video and I'll fill you in on the details. Alrighty then, as always, uh, I've actually pre-picked pre the orders. So what I'm gonna do is strap the GoPro to my head and take you through what's sold and uh, how much it's gone out the door for. And obviously how much I paid for it as well. Okay, so first out of the gate, uh, a couple of big bulky items actually. Uh, this one I believe I pictured in my last, maybe last but one video. This is from a, a big a charity warehouse haul. Uh, I paid a little over, I think it was 210 pound for the whole bundle and it was substantial as well. Maybe uh, 40, 50 items and well into profit on it already. But uh, as with all these uh, picking videos, what I'm gonna do is put a, a, a rough guide price on it for what I paid for it uh, to, to give you an indication. So because of the rest of the bundle, I'm gonna put a, a value of 20 pound on this, which is, it's excessive, but uh, for argument's sake, 20 pound. This is actually a 1930s gramophone. This is absolutely lovely. There, there was very little in the way of comps on this item. It's just a stunning bit of kit. It caught my eye and I did actually think when I picked it up that uh, I had a good feeling about it, uh, but I thought it was going to be one of those items that hung around for a little while. Uh, I've been sat on this for probably, I'm going to say a best part of a couple of weeks now. It does have a bit of an issue. I mean, it's in lovely condition for its age. It probably needs a bit of restore on the woodwork and whatnot. I think the person who's going to be buying this is certainly going to be uh, spending a bit of time with it and also the handle doesn't seem to do much. It's, it's doing something in there, but uh, I'm not entirely sure how it's gonna work. I mentioned all this in the listing anyway. So like I say, a value of put on this of 20 pound, stunning bit of kit. And this is actually going abroad and far abroad. I think it might even be going to China for 110 pound plus 20 pound postage. Now this is gonna be getting wrapped within an inch of its life because uh, obviously it's doing a bit of dense distance and because of the nature of it. And this will be going out with Hermes. <laughs> I know some people are going to call me for that. Uh, my preferred carrier for bigger, more expensive items is UPS. They tend to, they tend to uh, get it there a bit quicker and a bit safer, but uh, I think this one will be going out with Hermes. So that'll be going out today. Now another bulky item that's going abroad. This one was definitely featured in my last video. This is the the Sony Mini Disc Player. The model on it is a MDS JB 940. Uh, as I said in the last video, the comps on this were all over the place. place. The the low end of the comps seem to be. Uh, around about the £250 mark, going all the way up to about £480. So I played it safe. Well, I say I played it safe. I tested this and there's a common fault with this particular device. The, the, the belt that loads the disc 
uh, often goes faulty and needs replacing on these. It hasn't been replaced and it needs replacing on this. So I mentioned all this in the listing that the belt needs fixed and it's not loading. Um, I managed to, to take it apart and assist the disc loading uh, so I could check it was actually working properly and it is. Uh, fortunately so it really is just a case of the loading mechanism needs attention which I mentioned in the listing so I've sold this essentially as spares or repairs and this is going out for £99 plus £9.99 postage I actually paid £20 for this so still a decent profit on your higher end electronics guys don't be too disappointed if it isn't working because as in this case items do sell for good money as spares or repairs particularly higher end uh, equipment like this Sony so don't dismiss it if don't just chuck it in a bin check the spares or repairs comps as well if you come across a case like this another higher end sale that's going abroad I should have qualified these last three listings by just insisting I'm not going to recommend I'm going to insist that everybody has GSP selected on on the items there is absolutely no reason whatsoever why you wouldn't have it selected it it increases your marketplace it probably accounts for a, a, only a small percentage of my sales but GSP is a phenomenal service. When I'm sending GSP, I always make sure that my international returns are set to no. As a, as a business seller uh, within the UK, certainly you're obliged to provide 30 day returns, but for international uh, purposes, you're not. Uh, GSP is something that I won't go into great depth because that's not what this video is all about, but GSP is an absolute so just do it there's no reason why you, you wouldn't do it the service that's provided by ebay for gsp is phenomenal and also all, what it means all you have to do is rather than send your international sale to the end user you just send it to an address in the uk just pay the uk postage and ebay take care of everything from that point import duties international postage and whatnot the buyer from a, a different country will see the total price including the ebay bit for postage but all you do is take care of the uk side of it uh, another plus side to that is if anything happens to the package in transit in between ebay's fulfillment center in the uk and the end user or the buyer should i say then ebay take complete responsibility for it get on the gsp bandwagon it's brilliant anyway we're back in the room. This is from the same hall actually as the gramophone. This is a Sony Handycam. This is the Handycam Vision. The model is a CCD TRV47E. Still older tech, but uh, again, I'm gonna put a value of 20 pound on this, which is way, way high because of the rest of the bundle. But uh, I, I like to uh, obviously give, give people a realistic um, impression of, of what things can be picked up for. It's got everything with it. The charges, battery is fully tested and works perfectly. Cosmetically, it's in great condition too. Looks like it's had a nice, easy life. There's no tapes with this, but uh, I do have actually some tapes in stock, which I could have bundled with it, but I didn't think it was necessary. I'm gonna sell those separately. When this was brand new, it obviously was state-of-the-art and very, very high tech, but uh, this is older tech now. But for my £20 purchase, it's going out for 134 99 plus 5.99 postage so a very very tidy profit on that so that was me thought starting starting off with the higher end sales now down to the more bread and butter items as you guys all know from previous videos i don't do a lot in the way of media but uh, i picked uh, I, I separated some higher value games from a wee bundle i picked up it's actually a friend of mine who's having a bit of a clear out and the uh, the wee bundle being sold already had a, a quite a few games with it. I've separated the higher value ones. This this Batman, uh, because I got it from the bundle, I'm gonna put a, a value of two pound on it for argument's sake. And this is going out for four pound 99. It's not massive profit, but uh, gets it out the door and it's essentially free money. I do like unusual footwear. Brogues have always been good to me. These Brogues are the brand is Stradivarius. These are stunning condition. There's only the uh, a very odd, odd light mark on the, on the sole. These are obviously platform brogues. Very, very, I don't know if the camera's picking this up, but these are super, super shiny silver, obviously kind of dance shoes, if you will. Very good condition. They've had very, very light wear. These are a charity shop pickup. I paid up for them a little bit at five pound, but they're going out for 19.99 plus 3.90 postage. 
Now this is an, a, 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 the, probably the best example of honesty from a, a car boot seller that I've, that I've come across. This uh, this particular remote is from a giant uh, from the giant car boot. Uh, I bought the stereo that this remote goes with. Uh, I think it was a week or two previous. I'm gonna say I paid about ten pound, ten to fifteen pound for the stereo, and it went for. 80, 90, it went for very, very decent money. Uh, a couple of weeks later, he called me, he said, I've found the remote for that stereo you bought. And he gave me this, obviously by this time that the uh, the stereo had, uh, had sold. But remotes are certainly something that's worth considering, uh, particularly for older, high-end devices. This is a Technics, but any of your, your Sonys, your Panasonic, Samsung, so on and so forth. Always check the comps on the, the remotes because more often than not, they've been given away for pennies and uh, there's profit to be made. Now you could probably make out the, the model number of this remote, but it's almost an irrelevance for, for that exact reason. All remotes have value. So because I'm well into profit on the stereo sale that this remote goes from, I'm not gonna even put a value on this, so it doesn't owe me anything at all. And it's sold for 1550 plus 295 postage. Next up, staple sale for me, football boots. These haven't been in long at all. These Adidas firm ground football boots. A uh, good UK size eight, molded soles. Really good looking pair of boots actually. Uh, obviously signs of wear, but uh, the, the, the leather boots and generally in very, very good condition. Paid four pound for these boots and they're going out for 19.99 plus 2.95 postage. Adidas and Nike football boots, always a safe sell. Another international sale of a bit of old tech. This is one of the original Sony Walkmans. A great condition actually cosmetically has had very very light usage even the uh, the plastic screen on the front it's got barely any scuffs on it at all these usually get abused and it's difficult to find them in such good condition again charity shop haul from a big bundle i put a value of three pounds on this and it's going abroad for 39.99 and free postage now going way way back on my videos i've got a very large business communications management bundle i paid 80 pound for, for this bundle and it was worth thousands so the it, the story behind it is just a contact that i made on facebook marketplace the uh, the chap concerned him and his uh, business partner were closing up shop i can't quite remember the reason they were doing but uh, the uh, they were getting rid of all the stock they needed to get rid of it in a rush so the uh, they got rid of it to me and accepted 80 pound i'm so vastly into profit on this bundle this uh, these charge this charger owes me absolutely nothing at all i do have quite a number of these left that are trickling out quite nicely so uh, this particular one I, th I believe it's for multiple devices so I've listed model numbers and as much detail as I can in the listing um, I think that mostly these are for the likes of cash registers and that kind of thing so from a value of nothing at all this is going out for 9.99 plus 2.95 postage now these track bundles are still uh, going out quite nicely two lots actually or well, three lots to two customers. The first lot is just a curved section. I won't get them out of the packaging, but the, uh, a curved section of Hornby zero gauge rail track. Again, because this came as part of a large collapsed uh, collection of carriages, trains, um, electronics. It was a, a really a, a full setup in a massive box of Hornby bits. I've broken it all down and sold it separately. So uh, we're talking maybe i'm going to put a value of a pound on this track because it just it, that's the maximum it's value it's going to be and it's going out for 14.99 plus 3.99 postage again these two sections the, the junction sections from the same set again zero gauge hornby hornby and lima seem to be the the two brands that are most popular certainly it's hornby uh, I, I did learn from this particular listing as well that might be worth noting if you ever do come across it yourself is there's actually the, the metal parts of the, the track parts, the metal parts, there's two different kinds. There's steel and there's uh, nickel silver. The nickel silver is more expensive and it's more popular. Uh, it, so they're definitely worth using as your keywords. But in these instances, these were steel, so a little bit less value, but certainly very collectible. So these two sections, again, I'm gonna say a pound for both because they owe me for nothing. And they're going out for 5 dollars each, and the buyer has paid for expedited shipping of 9 dollars I think I mustn't have changed that. Uh, when I was doing the listing for these, I don't think I changed the, the 
expedited shipping value from a, a more expensive and larger item that I'd listed previously. So that one slipped under the radar, but uh, I'm certainly not going to complain. If the buyer's happy, I'm happy. So these will be going out today for next day delivery to the customer. And it looks like they're going to be a large letter as well. So it was a massive win on the postage on these as well. I do feel a little bit guilty, but not too much. <laughs> Okay, moving swiftly on from a local charity shop who was getting a bit of uh, slim pickings out there. So I paid up a little bit for these. I, I picked up two of these copper kettles. I believe I paid three pounds each for them. The other one's already sold. They're of no practical use, certainly uh, more for, for decoration, but uh, certainly a, a nice, uh, attractive vintage bit of kit. Sent offers out on this one. So uh, for my three pound purchase price, it's going out for 13.77 plus 2.99 postage. And because of the size of it, it does actually just fit in a, a, as a small parcel. Now I'm gonna say this is gonna be one of your low end bolos, uh, the double nines dominoes, particularly the ones that are Bakelite. These ones are Bakelite. If you're not familiar with Bakelite, it's sort of a brittle plastic is probably the best way I can des describe it. It's very difficult to tell the difference between plastic and Bakelite unless you've got two to compare. Uh, there's more of a kind of a, a higher pitched, heavier sound to, to Bakelite than there is plastic. But these double nine dominoes are in absolutely brilliant condition. I've, I've, they're made in England. I've no idea how old they are, but they certainly, uh, they certainly got a few years under the belt. Complete set. The older the better with these double nines. There are modern versions and deluxe versions. I've yet to come across any that aren't worth more than you would generally pay for them at a car boot or a charity shop. So I paid three pounds for these and they're going out for 17.99 plus 3.99 postage. I have up, got up to 25 pound for double nines dominoes, uh, the, the older versions and deluxe versions. So definitely one for your bolo list because these are very, very often underpriced. From a charity warehouse that's, all, that's uh, <laughs> quite often very, very good to me. This is a Polaroid camera. I won't take it out of the box. I'll just uh, stick a, a picture of it up on screen. It's one of the older types. This doesn't look like it's ever been used. It's an instant uh, camera. This model is not mentioned on the box, so I'll flash it up on screen. Uh, the, they're very difficult to test these because the battery that operates them comes with the film cartridge. It's not actually in the camera itself. So difficult to test. So I sold it as untested, but in mint condition because this really is squeaky. Doesn't ever look like it's been used. So I sold it on that basis. The value I put on this because it came from a large bundle is three pound and it's going out the door for 25.99 plus 2.95 postage. Last on the list from today, this, is, this was a retail arbitrage pickup from a supermarket it was Tesco or Asda. Uh, I've got a, a bolt load of these most of which have gone into my Amazon stock uh, ready for Christmas and they're being sold quite he healthily there but I kept a few back for my Amazon for my eBay store and this is one of them. I paid £12.50 for each for them and this one's going out for £22.50 including the postage. With retail arbitrage, it's more of a numbers game. You can't really be expecting the, the margins that you would get for secondhand stuff that you would pick up from charity shops and car boots. Um, but if you have a decent amount of money to invest for Christmas, then this is a really great way of adding extra funds to your kitty. Again, as I've said in previous videos, what I would be very, very wary of is not going too deep. I think I probably got about a dozen sets in total of these and I, I watch it very, very closely how they do. Uh, with Amazon the price quite often tanks at this time of year so it's a case of keeping your nerve because people who panic and sell low will run out of stock very very quickly uh, pushing the and then the price will creep up as availability becomes more scarce. Lego sets like this though are always a safe bet if they don't sell on the run up to Christmas then they can just sit on the shelf and they will be sold eventually. So total scores on the doors from today. Uh, we've got 16 orders going out for a total value of £635.29p. So all these will be getting uh, packaged up and sent out today. And because we're picking up speed on the on Q4 now, I'm expecting a good weekend this weekend. Now at the top of the video, I did say that I've got a wholesale offer for you guys. And these are it. I've got 25 rolls of genuine BBC branded uh, Doctor Who, Who wallpaper. 
and I know you can't probably see what it's like in these. These uh, this is actually really really cool wallpaper. I'll stick a big a big picture of it up on the screen anyway for you. So twenty five rolls of this, and it's good. I'm going to be letting it go out to a wonderful subscriber for the bargain price of three pound a roll plus postage. Posted probably about seven or eight quid. Uh, so three pound a roll it's a one-time deal job lot going to get rid of all of them to one person so if you're interested in this particular job lot just get in touch with me at dave at shedlife.uk that's dave at shedlife s-h-e-d-l-i-f-e dot uk there's no co in it and the first person i get an email off who's interested in taking all these off my hands, you're more than welcome to them. So get in touch if you're interested in that anyway, guys. Uh, I'm going to try and do more wholesale job lots as they become available to me. So if you're interested, give you first offers. So make sure you subscribe to the channel for future deals. Okay, so time for me to wrap this all up now and get all this, all these bits and pieces off to the couriers and the posty. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, guys. It helps the spread of the channel, helps us spread the love. Likewise, if you're not already subscribed, please click the subscribe button. Also, click on the notification bell and you'll get a notification of every uh, next time I post a video up. If you guys have got any comments or questions or anything like that related to reselling, how I run my business, or just anything really, anything general questions, uh, leave them in the comment section of this video and I'll reply to them as soon as I possibly can. And lastly, but not leastly, uh, there are some links to products that I use for packaging and, and general hardware to run my business in the, in the description of this video as well. So check those out if you find any of those bits and pieces useful follow the link and you can get those for yourself now thanks very much indeed for your continued support of this channel guys it really is appreciated i've been dave keith and i will see you in the next video bye bye for now